So today we got one half, one half of the answer to a question that's been two years in the making. Colleges pursuing a dynamic duo in Scottsdale, and it's been quite a ride. So you think you have paperwork piled up? There's pretty much a new post office at Desert Mountain High School where Kyle Allen and Mark Andrews are hearing from all corners and all programs. It's like West Virginia, Alabama, Michigan, Alabama, you know, you said Florida, Both Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, Ohio State, UCLA, Oregon State's and Oregon, Cal, Washington, Texas, and so it's pretty much hit the whole United States, I'd say, this year. It's all part of the recruiting process where schools reach out and try and stand out. They'll uh, draw like a little jersey, like your number, and you know, I think they, when they create you know, uh, personal messages through letters, I think that's very unique. And UCLA actually cropped my face onto one of the Heisman winner pictures. Players make plays. Kyle Allen is either the number one or number two rated QB in the country, depending on the ranking. His big target, and we mean big here, is 6'6", 238 pound Mark Andrews, who's also rated top 50 in the country. In fact, we're calling him a high school Gronk. There's nobody that looks like him or runs like him that fits, uh, fits his size. I mean, he's kind of a unique young man. So what's life like if you're the head coach. Well, I counted the business cards. We've had about 55 people come through this spring. Um, phone rings a lot, but you know, I always say it's better. I've been on the other side of it too, where nobody calls and you don't hear from anybody. That's not a problem right now. In fact, ask who has called. I got a call from Bob Stoops. You know, I, I grew up, you know, a big Oklahoma fan and, you know, just, you know, talking to him, you know, I see him on TV all the time. It was, it was definitely you know, one of those moments where I was like, wow. Talking to Nick Saban on the phone, him and Urban Meyer were two of the craziest experiences. You know what else can get crazy if you let it is all the attention, all the adulation. And we've met kids through this process that you've seen it, and you've seen you let it get through their heads. I mean, it's like people through the TV stations, you know, through the recruiting services who just want to back them up all the way and say you're the man, I and mean, you know they get a big head through it. Of course, the internet and social media makes recruiting. 24 7. Well, they're always saying I committed certain places, you know, and they just kind of make up stuff. It's kind of laughable and that sort of thing. Is there any sort of advice you gave them? I just told them, you know, don't get wrapped up in it in the sense of don't let it control you, you know. And it's like last week, they had finals, and I had some coaches call me, hey, I, I didn't hear from Kyle. He didn't Facebook me back. And I go, guys, they got finals, you know, they turn their phones off. It's really ups and downs through the process, you know. Obviously, we're really humbled to be in this position and we've been loving it through it, but you know, it's ups and downs with all the, all the attention you get and all the scrutiny you're under. Right, so that last comment, a little foreshadowing, the scrutiny, right? I mean, it gets hectic. And sure, it's, yeah. And, and, and coaches are all over them, social media. So today, out of nowhere, the quarterback, Kyle Allen, he tweets out his selection. He tweeted out this logo right here. He is attending Texas A&M. As of this afternoon, he made his choice. So he had it down to five. He tweeted that out. But uh -huh. Mark Andrews still undecided. A lot of people think he's leaning towards Notre Dame, maybe Oklahoma. But, I mean, you know, the Postal Service just took a hit because, yeah. you know, there's a lot <laughs> of revenue that just went down. Any chance they play for the same team? There is a chance, but they're not a package deal. Okay.